Hello and uh, welcome to AgroZones. My name is Joseph Kuria. I'm a student at Egerton University in Kenya. I uh, will be posting different videos, uh, so make sure that you click onto that button, uh, the bell, that bell, and make sure that you subscribe to receive the update. Please like if you like it, comment if you need more assistance. So I'll be taking you through cheating for today, cheating in potatoes. So cheating, what is it? What is this cheating that we are talking about? So we say that cheating is a pre-planting treatment method in which potato tubers are exposed to certain conditions so that they can sprout and produce tea. So why do we do cheating? So the advantages of cheating in potato tubers before planting them is that we need them to get ready. So for readiness before planting, the tubers become ready and ready to be planted. This ensures that there is always well sowed seeds for planting and planting can commence at any time that you want. So another advantage is that it ensures immediate commencement of growth, thus early maturity. Once the cheated potato tubers are planted, they resume growth immediately and not starting to grow like the latter, whereby we use the tubers without doing cheating. So this reduces the period in which the crop will remain in the farm. It also ensures uniform emergence of the plants. The plants having already sprouted, they grow uniform in their, stage, uh, in their stages of development. That is, from the pre-emergent stage, home stage to the tuber growth stage. This will ensure efficiency in carrying out cultural practices such as weeding, earthing up and harvesting. So another advantage is that it ensures increased yields. So cheated potato tubers produce more yields per acreage. This is as a result of timely emergence escape from weeds and utilization of moisture before it is utilized by the weeds. Another advantage is that there is early germination. The germination period for the cheated tubers is shorter compared to the untreated tubers. This enables the plant to escape competition from weeds for water, space, and even nutrients. What are the conditions necessary for cheating? There is warm temperatures. They will allow the seed to germinate. Very low temperatures below 15 degrees centigrade may render their germination impossible. Unidirectional light is another condition. Complete darkness should be avoided as this will lead to production of very weak chicks that may be broken during transpiration and even during planting. Direct light should be avoided to reduce the time taken for the tubers to sprout. Another condition is adequate ventilation. This uh, prevents rotting and encourages normal activities of the potato tubers. These activities include respiration. Moderate relative humidity is another condition. We say that too much humidity leads to rotting, while too low relative humidity prevents rotting. So what are the methods? Cheating can be done in two main methods, and the first one is the cultural. This involves spreading the potatoes on a flat ground, say in a room, in layers of about two to three potatoes deep. 
expose the potatoes in unidirectional light. Cover them using dry grass, crop residue, or even sawdust. And also use any other materials as long as it is providing warmth. Because the reason for covering them is to increase the warmth, which we said it is important for uh, sprouting. After sprouting, tubers can be planted directly or even stored for a period of two to three months. You don't need to use it immediately if it's not here. So, what are the limitations of cultural cheating? Cultural cheating has some limitations compared to the chemical. So, some of them are it is too slow. Protein is relatively and uniform and and lastly relative to chemical cheating it produces less yields so chemical cheating this involves treatment of the tubers with chemicals in order to induce protein the chemicals break dormancy and thus initiating sprouting of the tubers this process is majorly advantageous over the latter due to faster sprouting effects, as well as high efficiency in uniformity of germinating chemical changing. Uh, chemical changing can be done in various ways. Number one is we can use sample fresh fruit coating works. Number two is that we can use, uh, we can dip the tubers in one EPM solution of GF for five minutes. And um, number three is we can treat the tubers with urea, ethylene, chlorohydrin, or potassium cyanide. And lastly, not least, treating the tubers with rindite as proud initiator chemical. Okay, we can also cut the tubers into sets. Sets are um, pieces of the tubers, and when cutting the tubers, you must ensure that each set has an eye on it or even eyes on it. So, cutting the tubers into sets removes apical dormancy and encourages protein. Cut tubers even wound healing period plus a fungicide treatment before planting. This will reduce protein of the potato tubers. For further clarification, please visit or email us at agrosoons at gmail.com. Please subscribe. I promise you that there are greater things in store for you. Just turn on that bell. Turn it next week. You won't regret. Thank you so much for making this community. Yes. So therefore, click that bell so that you can receive a weekly update. Thank you.